Hey, wrestling fans, FM True Followers, and members of the YWC. Brian Crazy here with the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com. I'm back with your Monday Night Raw review for October 10th, 2011. The biggest points of the night is Triple H is no longer the COO of the WWE. Johnny Laurinaitis is now the Raw interim general manager. We saw Vince McMahon return. We saw Johnny Laurinaitis fire Jim Ross. And we saw Johnny Laurinaitis bring back the tag team of Miz and our truth the awesome truth. We started off the show with Triple H. Um, he said basically he will go at it solo if he has to. He's, he'll wrestle a broomstick because he'll give a better match than some of the guys he's wrestled with back. We see Cena, Sheamus, and Punk all come out. They exchange some words. But basically they're on Triple H's side and they're going to wrestle for the Raw brand tonight. So we end up seeing a match set up. We see John Cena versus Sheamus with Triple H as the guy's referee and CM Punk as commentator. CM Punk made some classic comments through the promo that I just discussed. He said, you know, John Cena was an overgrown Boy Scout. When um, Triple H asked him if he could be the commentator, he's like, can I wear your blazer? He's like, you can wear my blazer. And I mean, just some really funny stuff. So we see this match start off, John Cena versus Sheamus. Triple H is the referee, like I mentioned a moment ago. We cut to a commercial break. We come back, and Mr. McMahon returns. He says that the board of directors have had a meeting, and they decide that no member of the McMahon family will run Monday Night Raw. Triple H is relieved of his duties as the COO. Johnny Lord Davis is now the interim general manager of Raw. We see all the superstars come back into the arena. John Morrison makes some remarks towards Johnny Laurinaitis. And that's when we see Christian versus Morrison. Christian picks up the win over Morrison after his buddies, you know, get involved. Then we go into the Randy Orton match. We see Randy Orton go against Mark Henry. This was a good back and forth match. We see Cody Rhodes get involved. And that's when uh, Randy Orton wins by disqualification. Mark Henry actually got back in the ring, hit a wall strong a slam on Randy Orton and thought that you know the match was still active and tried to gain a pinfall. That not being the case, got a little frustrated, but left the ring. Cody Rhodes came in, preyed on the fallen Randy Orton, hit him with an RKO, and then paper bagged him. Then we go into the Divas match. We see Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres go against the team of Tamina and Rosa Mendez. Eve Torres and Kelly Kelly picked up the win. Then we go into the big tag match. We see Mason Ryan team with Air Boom to go against the team of David Otunga, Dolph Ziggler, and Jack Swagger. We see Mason Ryan and Air Boom pick up the win. Then we go into Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk. This starts off as a singles match, but then halfway through, Laurinaitis interrupts. He announces he's bringing back the team of The Miz and R-Truth. We end up seeing a tag match, Miz and R-Truth versus CM Punk and Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio bails on CM Punk. These two guys beat Don Punk into Triple H makes a save. We close the show with a handshake between CM Punk and Triple H and both of them posing for the crowd. I kind of like where this is going. I'm kind of confused where it's going. I mean, in one night, the WWE has been flopped upside down, but as wrestling fans, unpredictability is one of the things we should get used to. Monday Night Raw shouldn't be a predictable place. Monday Night Raw should keep you on the edge of your seat for all two hours that you're watching it. I did enjoy the show, and I hope next week continues this momentum. I'll see you guys back on a little... Uh, I'll see you guys a little later tonight, excuse me, with my SmackDown results. For True Wrestling... Brian Crazy, have a good day.